As I mentioned, the crowd slowly building up here. 2,500 seat stadium. Being described as boutique. Groth will be looking to get through this match pretty quickly. I had plenty of tennis in 2011. Featured in doubles action yesterday with Clara Zakopalova. Winning through to round number two. Her opponents yet to be decided at this stage. A couple of game points for Groff. Well, good serve and good return from Larson too. That one dropping right on the baseline. Tidy early from Groth. We'll have uh, score updates from the other events going on around the world. That's a great serve from Groth. Plenty of power straight down the middle. Groth holds after a struggle in the opening game of the first set. These two have not played each other before on the WTA tour. And Groth will probably have the best of the conditions today. The wind picking up late in the afternoon yesterday. Expect the same thing to happen today. That's a great start for Larson. That's a great return. Right on the slot there for Groth. Eating that forehand up the line. Did not have to move. And again, heavy ground strokes from Groth. Always good to have a hit out before the tournament, the singles event gets underway. And Groth, as I mentioned, was in the doubles yesterday. Great chance to get a feel for the conditions down here. That's right, another great return. So she's got the break. Two games to love now in the opening set. Thank 
Oh, another great finish. Great hitting from Groth. Powerful hitting. And she's continuing her good form from Brisbane. Early stages here. Three more game points. Oh, Larson got herself into a good position. Nice slice at the net. Just couldn't put away the overhead. Groth off to a flyer. Three games to love in the opening set. Plenty of great action throughout today, but also tonight as well with Marion Bartley, the number one seed, taking on Danara Safina. Which many thought would be the final here. Certainly is worthy of the final, but they meet in round number one. It comes your way from 7 o'clock Hobart time. Important for Larson to hold serve. Get on the scoreboard. She's getting a high percentage of first serves no. in, but just can't do much with them. She's hitting right, putting them right into Gross' hitting zone. for Groth there, coming off the top of the tape. Yager, of course, married to Sam Groth. They married in February 2009. He's not here this week. As he prepares for qualifying for the Australian Open. To be streamed on AustralianOpen.com. Again, just a nothing second serve from Larson. Groth stepping in. Weapon that forehand. Larson couldn't do anything. <laughs> Apology from McGroth. Larson did well to get there, but just totally out of position at the net.
Oh, it's too good. Another break for Groth. Great start. Four games to love. This match has only gone ten minutes. Groth would be reasonably pleased with the draw that she's got. She'll play the winner of Pasek and Rogowska, which is the next match on our feature court today. Here she's in the top half of the draw. Same side as Marion Bartoli. Nicely finished the half-court ball from Groth. Had plenty of time. And again, onto that forehand side. Much. Good touch by Larson. Went straight back to the Groth forehand. Had the good presence of mind to get across for the down the line pass. Was called wide. And again, in a great attacking position, Yamila Groff, the and a half court ball. And Larson playing off the back foot, can't really do much at the moment. No weapons, just struggling to read the gross serve. As that goes long, Groth off to a flyer. Five love in the opening sets. mentioned plenty of tennis going on around the place in Sydney today the Medibank International goes up a gear and the first matches are getting underway the center court match features Li Na of China taking on Anastasia Rodinova of Australia also in action at the moment Katarina Makarova taking on Victoria Azarenka Benjamin Becker taking on Sergei Stakowski Florian Meyer taking on James Ward, Maria Kirilenko taking on Dominika Sibulkova, and Sibyl Bama taking on Shaha Pear. Feature match on centre court up there in Sydney, Yanina Vikmar taking on Samantha Stosa. First round action. 
Yelena Yankovic also in action. Feliciano Lopez and taking on Juan Martin Del Potro. It'll be a tough match for Del Potro. Francesca Schiavoni. Nadia Petrova also playing up in Sydney today. And we'll have uh, score updates throughout our coverage this afternoon. Another clean winner. Looking good, Yamila Groth. And again, another clean winner and another apology. Getting the best in the net court at the moment. Well, there has been few and far between for Groth today. Larson with an opportunity now to get on the board in this first set. Well, that's good from Larson. Nice change up. Really can afford a smile, but Joanna Larson on the board in the first set. But Groth leading 5 1. And now that she's got a game on the board to try and at least get one break before the end of the first set. That's a complete miss hit from Larson. The frame of the racket. First of the double faults for Emily Groth. Had a relatively clean game or clean match so far. It's a tough breeze here in Hobart. It tends to swirl around a lot inside the uh, stadium here. And now, set point for Yamila Groth. First set running 20 minutes, Simila Groth comprehensive, six games to one. 
And understandably, Larson will be looking for some advice from her coach. So ready now for the second set. Colonel Larson receiving some advice from her coach. The end of the set there. And Joanne Larson will get us back underway, serving with new balls. Important here for Groff to remain aggressive, not take the foot off the pedal. Wants to be back in that locker room. Wants to be back at the accommodation pretty quickly today. That's ah, it's another winner. Keeps racking them up on that forehand side, Groth. And now is the opportunity to settle into this match. Always an advantage serving first in a set. And now starting to find a range on her serve as well. Take game point here. And she holds. Opening game of this second set. First game, second set. But, uh, Yamila took the first six games to one. The other matches coming up on our feature court today. Tamira Pasek of Austria taking on Livia Rogowska. Then followed by Alicia Mollick and Sofia Advertson. And then tonight the big one, Marion Bartoli taking on Danara Safina. Have all those matches live for you right here. It's another relatively easy service game here for Yamili Groth. And she holds. 
So one game all. So putting the foot down again, Groth, early in this second set, three more break points. Oh, another winner. Come off the backhand wing, Groth looking very good. Two games to one now in the second set. Yamila Groth wanted to get this match over pretty quickly. She is already out on court. Well inside the 90 seconds. In that tournament that she won last year in Guangzhou in China, she didn't drop a set. And most of her matches didn't drop too many games either. dropping 15 games for the entire tournament. Oh. It really was a comprehensive performance. is here on centre courts and Miller will be one of the favourites for this event. It's been a long time since she's played here in Hobart. Last time was back in 2007. And she went in, in the first round to her doubles partner here, Clara Zakopalova, in straight sets. So Groth now with a couple more game points to head to 3-1. Double fault. It's only a second for the match. Serving 58% off the first ball, winning 84% when they drop in. Double fault number three. Oh, last 
pass and had all that space across court. Groth committing to the down the line. And again, just wrong footing, Larson. Camilla Groth getting the job done. Three games to one now in the seconds. Well, we've seen that plenty of times already today. Just straight into the hitting zone of Groth. That forehand, which has been deadly. Change up again, Groth probably doesn't need to throw in too many more tactics, but perhaps using the opportunity to try out a few different things. So Larson holds. Still a breakdown though. Groth 3 2 in the second set after taking the first six games to one. Now some other action going on up in Sydney. Li Na of China leading Anastasia Rodinova five games to love in the opening set. Katarina Makarova leading Victoria Azarenka 4 1. Games on serve between Sergei Stakowski and Benjamin Becker. Stakowski 4-3. Corian Meyer of Germany leading James Ward four games to two. Maria Kirilenko and Dominika Sibylkova locked at one all. And Sibyl Bama and Shahar Pair two games all in the opening sets. And as you can see at the bottom of your screen, Yumila Groth is already out there again. She is in a hurry today.
glass and trying to change up. The angled slice backhand. Just really struggling to make a dent in the Groth game. Three more game points for Yamilla. Again, Yaka with a smile on her face. Points it up nicely with the serve. That breeze has picked up slightly. of course is a, a good warm-up event, one of the final warm-up events before the Australian Open starts this time next week. Both of these players with main draw entries and the draw will be out on Friday. So a great opportunity to acclimatise to the Australian conditions, be it a little cooler than Melbourne. Opportunity now for Larson to facing a handful of game points. Now has a break point. Her first of the match. Another miss hit by Larson. few options there. Groth could have employed the lob. Instead went straight back to Larson. He was just scrambling to get into position. Oh. Just wide again. That would have been a clean winner. She'd been able to nail that down the line. One tidy from Groth in this game. Oh. So another opportunity here for Larson. Works her way back into this match. Frustration for Larson. Yes. So we've got now with the game points, move to four two. 
Continue to hold that break advantage. So Groth holds for a bit of a struggle. Four games to two now in the second set. Joanna Larson having her best ever year on the WTA Tour, rising, rising over 100 places in 2010. So Larson holds, Groth still leading though with that break, four games to three in the second set. We've got a very special guest joining me here in our commentary position, Abigail Spears. Welcome along. Thank you. Nice uh, to be here. Not a bad view from up here. No, nope. haven't been up here. It's a wonderful view. <laughs> Take us through your 2010. How would you rate my performance? My 2010. Performance? Um, it was a bit up and down, but um, we had some good wins. Uh, we beat former number one team Black Huber and uh, the new number one team Dulco Panetta. Um, and um, hit hit a lot of spots in the world, and um, it was a it was a pretty good year. Is this your first time to Hobart? It is not my first time. I think it's my fourth time. What do you actually. like about coming down to a Tasmania? Um, it's got a good atmosphere. It's um, the people that work here that run the tournament. Um, they make you feel welcome, and it's it's uh, it, they definitely it's a homey environment, and I think a lot of the players enjoy coming down here for that reason. So it's a small, nice town, and um, it has a lot of topper, and everything's close and convenient. So. Well, a lot of the players are saying that this tournament is quite a relaxed tournament. It's a nice way before mm -hmm. the, the hustle and bustle of a Grand Slam tournament, where there's millions of people around, just a yeah. easy way and get used to the conditions is a great way to start. No, it is. It, de it definitely relaxes you right before the chaos of next week. Mm -hmm. So Groth here is serving to go to a 5-3 advantage. You got an opportunity to see Joanna Larson close up in your doubles match? Yes, we did. Um, I played her actually last year at the end of the year too in doubles um, in Quebec and where I think they actually went on to win it. So um, she's a good, good player. And so is the woman at the top of the screen, Yamila Groth. Mm -hmm came up against her at World Team Tennis too. She's a heck of a player, that's for sure. So your schedule for 2011, how's it looking? Obviously we've got the, the Grand Slam coming up next week, but then from there, what where does your path take you? Um, well, it all depends really on next week and this week. Um, we are kind of at that uh, borderline ranking where we could get into some bigger tournaments or, you know, kind of stay at the lower level. So um, we're just um, actually really positive and optimistic about 
maybe going to Paris, Dubai. So that would be fun. Yeah. As we got Yaka questioning a line call. But she gets the point and now has three game points to hit to 5 3. Does five games to three now in the second set. Abigail, always fascinated by the path that tennis players take on the tour. And for example, as you mentioned there, your year is contingent on the first Grand Slam of the year as to how high your ranking is. How hard is it for a player who maybe is not ranked in the top ten in singles to travel around from place to place when you're not sure what your schedule actually entails? Well, that's the, I guess it's sort of a love-hate relationship that we all, t all tennis winners have is it's that battle. And even the top ten have come across that breaking through um, point. But that's what makes it so fun. I mean, it's a challenge. So um, we all love playing games, obviously, since we're playing tennis. And um, that's, in the end, um, it's competition, and that's just part of it. So it is tough, but it is part of the sport. Did you have an opportunity to be part of the, the Fed Cup team for the USA I last year? I have not. Year? No, I have not. That would, that would have been a great experience, but I haven't been fortunate enough yet to do that. See Groth here, one game away from taking this first round match. Do you like coming down to Australia? You know, the, the Australian Open is a favourite among a lot of the players. Do you enjoy getting down here January um, every year? I do. Um, this is, I get teased a lot. Um, everybody thinks that I'm going to be become an Australian someday um, <laughs> because I never want to leave. And it's my favourite part of the year and I, I don't, I, I don't want to leave ever. I've got a lot of friends outside Melbourne and um, this is like my home away from home. So match point now for Emily Groth. And she's done it. Regulation win for Emily Groth here. 6-1, 6-3 over Joanna Larson. And getting it down in double quick time too. 48 minutes this first round match. And